Hi Petals, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm Aura and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. It's wonderful to have you here and to be connecting with you and we are back with another timeless pick a card reading and in this reading we'll be uncovering what it is that you are ready for. So your soul says that you are ready and in these sessions today we're going to be uncovering what exactly is it that you are ready for. For. and I'm really excited to be connecting and bringing through these messages for you today. If you are new here, my name is Aura and I am an energy intuitive and a soul activator and on this channel we bring through messages of support, guidance, insights, confirmations, empowerment and activations for your soul path and life journey. And it's a blessing to be connecting with you today. Thank you so much for tuning in wherever you are tuning in from and whenever it is that you are connecting as well. We do have three different groups to choose from today represented by three different cards and three different crystals for those who like to connect with the crystal energy. For group number one, we have the Thunderbolt and the Sunshine Aura Quartz. For group number two, we have the Mystic's Eye and the Amethyst. And for group number three, we have the Eclipse and the Opalite. So please select a group, a card or crystal that speaks to your intuition. You may select more than one group if that's what your intuition is telling you, that's completely fine. That just means that there might be another message in that group for you. And please remember my loves that my readings are for confirmations and if you're wondering if these messages and readings are for you, you are going to know within because it's going to serve as a confirmation for you. I always encourage to utilise your own discernment and use my readings and messages as activators for your own intuition to expand on and to enhance your intuition deeper. So please only take what resonates for you and your personal situation and lovingly leave the rest. Never force anything to fit. If the messages are for you, you're going to know it intuitively within. And if you're looking for something more personal and private and would like to dive into a personally calibrated session with myself, you'll be able to find my website in the description box where you'll be able to see all of the services that I currently offer as well as my limited edition monthly special readings and book with me directly there. But please note that if my readings are sold out, that means that I'm currently at full capacity. So I'll leave a little indicator in the top banner of my website at the header of my page when I'll be expecting to open new readings and availability. Thank you so much for your patience and understanding. And with all this being said, my loves, you'll be able to find the timestamps in the description box and in the pinned comments. And I shall see you at your selected group. Hi, group one. Welcome to your reading. If you selected the Thunderbolt card, or this beautiful sunshine aura quartz crystal. This is your reading today for what are you ready for? So your soul says that you are ready. And so in this reading, we're going to be diving into and uncovering and channeling through the messages, confirmations, inspiration, empowerments and any activations you are needing in regards to where your soul is shifting you to where are you ready to embark upon what are you ready to explore so that's exactly what we're going to be diving into today in your session now you have selected this thunderbolt card here just to show you a little bit closer here this talks about sudden change power and energy Okay, so what I'm really getting for you here, group one, is that you are ready to activate and transform. That's what I'm pulling through here. So your soul is saying that you are ready to activate and transform. Okay, so there's something here that is coming through in regards to some sort of rapid transformation. 
whether that's spiritually, whether that's in your life in general, however it's coming through, there's a rapid transformation on the horizon is something that I'm hearing. This is giving me like major quantum shifting energy. So maybe you've been working consciously with quantum jumping or quantum shifting. Maybe you've been interested in that topic, researching it, maybe even exploring some kind of guided meditation when it comes to quantum shifting. Or maybe this is something that you're being pulled to in the near future. But I'm really feeling like there's some kind of quantum jump and quantum shift that your soul is preparing you for. It's like you're being prepared for this and you're being guided to take bold and brave action. So now is the time to take bold and brave action. So this is really giving me, you know, stepping out of the comfort zone vibes here, you know, releasing those limiting beliefs or anything that is constricting you, restricting you or holding you back. It's time to break free from this here. And I feel like truthfully, you've been going through some kind of transformation for quite some time now. And I feel like this is leading to a deeper level of activation within you. So there's a lot that is activating within you here. And I'm really getting a lot of pressure energy coming through. And with this thunderbolt energy, it's, it's reminding me of the storm. And I'm actually hearing thunder. I'm hearing thunder in my in my in my mind's eye, like in my mind, it's like coming through as not only vision, but I'm hearing it and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the, the thunder, the vibration, the feeling that you get when you hear like thunder crackling in the sky. And you can hear it in the distance and then it's getting closer and closer and closer. And all of a sudden the thunder is right above your head. It's really loud. You can't ignore it anymore, right? And that's the feeling that I'm getting here. Some You're getting closer and closer and closer to something here. It's almost like... Um, I'm being shown a pressure cooker, right? And it's like something is cooking away. There's a pressure that is building. And so take this how it resonates for you because this is gonna be different for each and every one of you, right? And so there's some kind of pressure that is building here. And this pressure is going to, I'm hearing, give birth to something that is gonna catalyze and shift you majorly here. A major quantum jump is coming through for you. Wow, incredible energies here, group one. I'm absolutely loving this and I'm excited to see what wants to come through for you in your reading. Now, I have selected a bunch of different cards that I'm going to intuitively be guided to pull throughout your reading to elaborate on the messages and to explore further any guidance and more confirmations and empowerment and activations that want to find you today. So can we please bring through an energy here for group one for this thunderbolt energy? What is this activation? What is this transformation? Can we please pull through some energies here for what this is about here? What is this transformation and activation? for group one. So we have here the toxic witches, which is actually the devil card coming through. And it's interesting because as I pulled that out, it was kind of stuck to another card here and it literally had to pull apart from something. This is the justice, wow. Oh my gosh, two major arcanas here. Right off the bat here, group one, incredible energy that is emanating and coming through here, right? So as we said, you are being uh, guided to kind of disconnect or free yourself here from something that has been constricting you or restricting you here with this toxic witch's devil energy here, right? There could be something or someone around you or an energy around you that makes you feel a bit small, makes you feel left out, makes you feel like you don't fit in, like you're not a part of the crowd or you're not a part of the team or something here, right? Um, and I feel like there's something here that's left you empty. That's something that's coming through here because I'm really being drawn to how those two girls in the background there, they have a full glass of wine and this person in the forefront that's looking quite alone and separated, their glass is empty. 
okay so it's almost like something around you has been taking from you and i feel like this could be energetically or maybe taking your spark from you or taking i'm hearing the lust for life taking the lust for life draining you in some way maybe stealing from you just taking something right and it's not justified okay something's out of balance it's unfair here with a justice card but i see you your soul here saying you're ready to take back your power now you're ready to call time on this you're ready to catalyze this change and make this shift away from whatever this is that is just quite plainly and simply toxic it's toxic for you it's not in alignment for you okay it's holding you back it's restricting you it's keeping you small and you're someone who is meant to be unmissable is an energy that i'm hearing it's like you have such powerful energy but whatever this is is almost kind of restricting this i'm being shown a literal lightning bolt being put inside a bottle inside a glass bottle and closing the lid on the glass bottle with a lightning inside and it's almost like it's kind of impossible to do that and that's a message that's coming through here it's impossible to contain you it's like you are the lightning bolt here and it's impossible for you to be put inside this jar and i feel like that's essentially what something or someone has done here or even sometimes we can put ourselves in that jar right we can try and keep ourselves small because we want to be safe we want to fit in or we want to be accepted or we don't want to feel left out there could be something like that coming through here but you're meant to break free because i'm seeing now this glass bottle it's shattering and cracking open and the lightning is just exploding out from it right and so I feel like whatever you were kind of contained in here, your soul is saying you're ready to transform this. You're ready to take back your power and you're ready to activate a balance here, okay? Bottom of the deck, we've got the six of cups coming through. Give yourself the compassion you were never given. Give yourself the compassion you were never given, okay? This is about giving yourself your flowers here. It's not waiting around for anything or anyone to hand this to you. You're choosing to take this yourself, to take your power back from a situation here, to allow yourself to be seen, to allow yourself to receive. So I feel like this change, this transformation, this activation that's coming through, your soul is saying, we're ready for more balance now. We're ready to bring that back. We're ready to activate this balance and finally close the door on what was causing an imbalance here. There's a truth that is also being revealed to you. You may have already been feeling this coming through. Everything is going to be turning out in your favour as long as you stick to your truth, as long as you don't allow anything to constrain you or restrict you or put you in that glass bottle. As long as you choose to claim those flowers, right? As long as you choose yourself. There's an energy of potential like hopelessness coming through here. Or maybe you trying to cling on to hope in some way. Maybe your hope was kind of stolen away from you or something tried to steal your hope away from you. I'm hearing a hope in a dream. So this could be related to a dream that maybe hasn't worked out. Something like that. But justice is being brought back into balance here, okay? It's almost like I'm hearing the gods, the gods, the universe has declared something here. It's like they're declaring some kind of injustice. They've seen an injustice, they've recognised it, and it's now, I'm hearing, feeling the wrath. So there's a wrath that is coming through here. And by the way, I don't feel this wrath is coming for you in a negative connotation. It's more like the wrath, feeling the wrath of God, feeling the wrath of the universe. Whatever this toxic situation was, it's being brought back into balance by the divine. That's the message that's coming through here. A very powerful energy, 
okay? So this could be catalyzing in the form of a sudden change, but you're taking back your power now. Anything else about this situation, anything else about this transformation and activation that wants to come through for group one? What else do we want to say about this? Thank you. Okay, I feel like you're being guided to to take back your power of creation as well. Like, I feel like you're here to as a creator and recognizing that you are the creator of your your life, your reality, and you can take back that power at any given time. Maybe at some point in your past or in your life, your power was taken away and given to another person or a situation that you felt was out of your control. But it's like now you're recognizing your power to take that back, to claim your happiness, and I just heard to claim your independence as well uh, cats could be significant here for you right because cats are very independent okay let's see we have the horse and motivation coming through we have the peacock and inspiration wonderful we have to the sea and we have time for a nap yeah there's a, a moment of recovery here that's coming through, I feel, that's very important for you because I feel like whatever this was has drained you, as we said, in some way. And um, it's now time to recoup your energy. Maybe that's something that you've already been doing. Maybe you've already recognised this situation. was There was a situation that was toxic for you, something that was out of balance. And so you've been trying to pull back your energy. And now it's the time for this recuperation process that is coming through here and in that time where you're taking time to heal to rejuvenate yourself taking time to sleep to rest and time for meditation and relaxation that's where you're going to find your motivation again that's where you're going to find your inspiration okay so this essentially your soul is saying that you are ready to activate a deeper level of motivation and inspiration here it's recognizing your power with the horse that's coming through the horse power energy horses are incredibly powerful right and then with the peacock that's an energy of allowing yourself to shine brightly allowing yourself to be unique you're incredibly unique group one and i feel like that might be why you felt like you maybe don't fit in or maybe you felt in the past like you didn't belong somewhere, right? And it's because you're supposed to be different. But maybe that was maybe portrayed by others or external situations or, you know, what society can tell us, the conditioning, right? That to be different is to be weird or, you know, it's a bad thing essentially when actually it isn't a bad thing. You're not supposed to fit into that glass jar, right? You're not supposed to wear this uniform and look like everyone else looks. You're supposed to be unique, so I see this energy as what they're giving me here is when I used to go to school in England, we have to wear uniforms, right? But every now and then we would have your own clothes day where you could come wearing your own clothes, but usually it would be for charity. So we'd have to bring like um, some money along to give to this charity for one day so that we can wear our own clothes. And everyone would always get super excited because we could wear our own favorite clothes. We could wear our own favorite shoes and trainers and be individuals, be unique unique right and so that was very exciting especially for me going to religious catholic schools growing up with that it was very conformative right you had to conform you had to have your tie a certain way a certain length shirt always tucked in blazer badge on the left however it's coming through right and so everything was very structured okay and so there's something here about breaking out of that okay and allowing yourself to be unique that's really something that your soul is calling for here on a larger scale, right? And so you're being given this motivation and empowerment and inspiration to really tap into that creation that we were talking about and to bring something through. And this is allowing you to move on here with this to the C card. We have the number seven that's really standing out to me, which is the chariot card in the tarot. It talks about moving forward, positive direction, confidence, ambition. 
It's your time to be in charge. And essentially, this is what your soul is saying. Your soul is saying it's time now for you to be in charge, right? It's time now for you to take the reins of the horse and to march forward, to race forward, right? To leap forward and to spread your feathers with the peacock. Your unique beauty is very significant here, right? Whether you are masculine, feminine, however you identify, there's something that's very beautiful about you, very unique about you, very actually inspiring about you. It's like uh, your energy as well, right? It doesn't have to be physical appearance. It can be both, right? But it's like your energy is very empowering. It's, a, it's very inspirational. And that's why essentially... I feel you were put into or tried to be put into this glass bottle, but you're not supposed to be. It's like the peacock needs room to spread the, f the feathers out, right? It can't be constrained. And the horse needs room to, to run around, to be the horse. Okay, so essentially your soul is saying you're ready for more space, for more room to grow, to expand, Wow, anything else here about this? What is this expansion and growth here? Thank you. We have the energy is gaining momentum, the waxing moon coming through. Yeah, the energy is gaining momentum here for you, group one. The energy is massively gaining momentum. Anything else about this for group one? Any further guidance, please? Just one card for that, okay. Oh my gosh, look. Power over difficulty, reclaiming your power. I love this. This is exactly what we were just talking about, right? The number 32 could be significant, the number five. So there's some sort of change here, right? Some sort of change that you are calling forward here. And, you know, you're reclaiming your power, okay? So we have adjustments are required, we have a new romantic cycle begins, but this is this balanced energy coming through with this new moon in Libra energy. So there is a balance that is being brought through. We've got scales depicted on two cards here. So balance is very significant. Maybe you have a significant Libra in placement as well, potentially, with the justice card coming through here as well, representing that Libra energy. And we have hidden knowledge, Akashic records, and silent understanding. Yeah, there was something here that you have been reflecting on in silence. I, I see you kind of like visualizing breaking free from something. I see you kind of visualizing a way forward. How can I get out of this situation? How can I move on from this? How can I get to where I need to get to? There's some sort of like reflection that is coming through here. Um, and this is why this time for a nap is so, so vital for you, especially right now, group one. It's because you're going to be given access to a hidden knowledge here, access to a deeper level of inner standing, access to your higher self, your soul that is going to be guiding you out of this out of this maze I'm hearing, right? So maybe you feel like you've been in a maze or kind of like your journey has been through numerous twists and turns and ups and downs. And it's like, how do I navigate out of this? The guidance is within. You're going to be receiving this guidance within. So there is some sort of new cycle that is beginning. It does say a new romantic cycle. So this could be pertaining to a relationship. So you could also be, you could be in a relationship right now, or you could be, you know, dating someone or moving into a new relationship. But what I also feel with this energy here um, is that it's a relationship with yourself a relationship with the divine right because I don't really read for love and things like that that's not the kind of energy reader that I am but this is the energy that's coming through it's like this is a deeper connection to your higher self a deeper love with yourself a deeper appreciation of yourself and I'm now being brought back to the card on the bottom of the tarot deck which is the six of cups that we saw giving yourself your flowers give yourself the compassion you were never given give yourself the love that you were never given right so there could have been something along your way that you've really needed, whether this was a deep love from a, a romantic partner or whether this was fair treatment and appreciation from a parental figure, 
whether it was fairness and equality from a sibling or whether it was, you know, acceptance and empowerment from a friendship. There's something here from a specific relationship that you needed that you weren't given. And so now you're essentially finding this within yourself and bringing this back into balance here. And this is, is starting a new cycle here with self-love, with this deeper connection to the self. That's what I'm really feeling. But there are some adjustments here that are required, okay? Um, and I feel like this is really kind of adjusting those things around you when it comes to helping you to step into your power in some way. Can we please pull through some more information about these adjustments? What are these adjustments that are required here for group one? What are these adjustments that are required for group one? We have self-care, yeah. So that's essentially what we were just talking about, right? Okay, so you need to be putting in more time here for self-care, sitting right underneath time for a nap, okay? So this is what your soul is saying. We're ready to activate, we're ready to transform. And, and how we can do this is by tuning into self-care, self-love, tuning into ourself. Because for too long we have been giving to external around us, maybe other people, maybe pouring into a specific relationship or maybe a job where we're underappreciated or a friendship where we still feel left out, right? However it's coming through for you and your personal situation, it's now time to give back to you. It's time for a nap. And during this time, we're going to figure out the best way forward we're going to be receiving those downloads that are going to be giving us a higher level of inspiration and motivation here. There's also an adaption here that is coming through. Anything else about these adjustments that could be helpful for group one, please? Anything else? We have momentum, yeah. We did see that card coming through, didn't we? The energy is gaining momentum. Let me just double check. Yes, we did. The energy is gaining momentum and we've got momentum coming through here as well. So keep focusing on that momentum, right? Building that momentum, okay? That could come through routine or structure, right? Or, you know, having that routine of self-care, building that momentum little by little. I feel like tuning into your playful side as well is going to be very helpful because the momentum is building here, right? Right? And when you find that momentum, keep rolling with it, okay? Keep staying focused on your objective, but also remembering to look after yourself, okay? Anything else about this momentum? Ungrounded, okay? So we need to pull our ideas, our creativity, because the sacral and the solar plexus are really standing out here to me, okay, so we need to be pulling in that creativity, that I, those ideas, that creative spark, you know, not only the creation and the, the birthing process, but that action as well, we need to be taking grounded action, okay, so this is like action from a place of reflection, okay, so having like a plan in place and some sort of structure, okay, and then taking action upon that structure where things can feel more grounded, so maybe a more structured plan could be significant and helpful for you here as well, but also being open to be flexible along the journey, so having a plan of action and having some kind of structure doesn't mean that we can't change. It doesn't mean that we can't adapt as we as we move forward. Because as we move forward in life, the energy shifts. We shift, you know, our resonance changes along the journey, right? And so along your journey, there is going to be adjustments here that are needed. But it's going to be that kind of overall plan that is going to help to stay on track, to keep you on track and to ground down your ideas and creation into form here, okay? You are also accessing your Akashic records as well and you've been doing this through the inner growth, the work that you have been doing by integrating your shadows and taking time to work through any shadows that are coming through as well. 
So some of you could have been actively working with the Akashic Records, consciously working with the Akashic Records. But if not, I definitely feel like behind the scenes, your higher self, your soul has been sifting through your records, your book of life and trying to kind of shift and renew and release what is no longer conducive for your journey and where it is that you're going, okay? Can we please pull through one final message here for group one about these activations and transformations that they are ready to tune into, okay? One final message about these activations and transformations for group one. Wow, we have Krishna, devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Wow, and look what we have here. Right at the top, we've got a peacock feather. That's gorgeous. Beautiful synchronicity and confirmations here. Some of you may work with Krishna, okay? But there's an energy of devotion that's coming through and your soul is saying stay devoted to your path, okay? Stay devoted to transformation. Stay devoted to breaking yourself free. Staying devoted to releasing any toxicity and bringing back balance in your life, okay? Anything that was out of balance, stay devoted to that, okay? Stay devoted to calling back your power, to embodying your power, to moving forward, unapologetically in your true authenticity, not being afraid to shine, not being afraid to showcase your talents and your gifts and just who you are in general, not being afraid to being that lightning bolt in a room full of clouds is a message that I'm hearing, okay? You are that lightning bolt in a room full of clouds. If this is resonating for you, drop those lightning bolts in the comment section right now okay, if you're ready to stand in your power, to activate your power on a deeper level, to stand out from the crowd, to tune into a deeper level of authenticity and to be devoted to your mission, your path as you move forward away from toxicity, away from injustice, away from things that have taken you out of your power, right? Remember to tune into self-care and this is going to give you that access to hidden knowledge here from your Akashic. The energy is going to be gaining momentum, so keep rolling with it. And the way that you can keep rolling with it is keep tapping into that horsepower energy within you that you have. That motivation, that drive that you have when you release yourself from a box, a constraint, something that is restraining you. And that's why you gain that creative power, that inspiration from within. Remember to regain your energy, pull back your energy. Because as you move forward, you're going to be moving onwards and onwards and onwards. But it's still okay to rest. And in fact, that's really important. Your commitment has been recognized here. Your devotion has been recognized and I feel like this is to the shadow work that you've been doing, right? This work to break yourself free from any toxic patterns, any toxic habits, any toxic situations or relationships. However, it's coming through for you. It could be in a multitude of different ways. You are loved unconditionally by your higher self, by the universe, by the spirit guides on your team, by the angels, and by those around you as well. So yes, there may be some that don't appreciate you, that don't appreciate your shine, but there are so many that do and there are so many that will appreciate that, that you are yet to meet along your journey. So keep moving forward and you will align with those who resonate with you and just keep kind of distancing yourself and not focusing on those who don't get you, okay? Because they're not meant to okay, you're not going to be everyone's cup of tea is a message that's coming through and that's completely okay. If you're ready to roll with that, accept that, right? And stand in your power anyway, drop those teapots in the comment section, drop those cups of tea in the comment section. It's okay that we're not everybody's cup of tea. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. There are some people who love my readings and my channel and there are some people that don't like my readings. They get triggered by my readings and that's okay. 
all is divine. I'm going to stay devoted to my path anyway. And those who align with my frequencies and energies will find me. And I'm so grateful for that. So powerful messages coming through for you here today, group one. I truly hope that you found helpful guidance, confirmations, messages, insights, and activations here for you today. So let's see what we should do. I feel like drop a scales emoji, a peacock emoji, a horse emoji, or a lightning bolt emoji in the comment section if this has been your reading. If you have resonated with this reading and if you would like to claim any of this breaking free activation, transformation, higher level of motivation and inspiration to the sea, self-care, momentum and devotion energy here today. And please feel welcome to let me know in the comment section how this reading has resonated for you today and share with me anything you would like to share about your soul path and life journey thus far. I always love to read your comments and hear all about your amazing stories and what you have to say. Thank you so much for your inspirational, empowering comments. Thank you so much for your love and support, not only to myself, but also to each other in the comment section. It's wonderful to see you supporting and empowering one another. So thank you so much for your love and your positivity. If you would like to dive into a personally calibrated reading with myself, you can find my website in the description box where you'll be able to see all of the services that I currently offer, as well as my limited edition monthly special readings and book with me directly there. But please note that if my readings say sold out, that just means that I'm currently at full capacity. So then please navigate to the top of my website where you'll see a little banner at the header of my page. And I'll pop in there a little update of when I next expect to open new readings and new availability. Thank you so much for your patience and understanding. And thank you so much for your energy exchanges via your likes, your comments, your subscribes, and also your super thanks donations. Thank you so much for your generosity. Your support is so, so appreciated and valued. And if you would like to dive into any more guidance along your soul path and life journey, don't forget to check out the other readings on my channel. I have created some playlists with lots of other picker cards, collective readings and soul alignment sessions, and they are all timeless messages and readings for you. So please feel welcome to have a browse and see what stands out to your intuition. If you're feeling like you need an extra little bit of guidance or a boost of empowerment or activation, please feel welcome to do so. And if you enjoy my energy, my vibe, if you've enjoyed this reading, don't forget to hit subscribe and also tap that bell icon because that will let you know when I rock up and drop new readings and messages for you. Thank you so much for being here today, my loves. It's been truly amazing to connect with you as always. And I'm wishing you all the best as you move forward and sending you lots of love. Take care. Bye. Hi group two, welcome to your reading. If you selected the Mystic's Eye cards or this beautiful amethyst crystal, this is your reading today for what are you ready for? So your soul says that you are ready, okay? So what is it that you are ready for group two? Let me show you this card a little bit closer here. You have selected the Mystic's Eye card, which talks about clairvoyance, insight, and foresight. So a powerful kind of awakening here when it comes to your third eye, when it comes to your vision, okay? But I feel like this is the vision within. This is seeing the unseen. This is seeing through the veil. This is seeing into the unseen realms. Is a massive energy that's coming through here. So in this reading, we're going to be diving into bringing through the confirmations, the empowerment, the insights, and any activations that you are needing for whatever your soul is saying that you are ready for here. So as always, take what resonates for you and lovingly leave the rest, okay? So what I'm really getting for you here today, group two, is that you are are ready to see something here, okay? You're ready to see something. You're ready to trust your inner vision. So perhaps there's already something that you are seeing or I just heard seeing through, 
okay? Maybe there's something that you're already seeing through, right? You can start to peek through that veil. It's almost like I'm being shown a veil that's kind of frosted and there's some kind of slit that is being cut through it and you're able to peek through it and just pull it apart and see through it here, right? And it's like your soul is saying, yes, you're you're onto it here, you're seeing something. Now let's completely just tear down that veil completely and truly see what lays behind that or underneath that surface here. I feel like you're being guided to explore a deeper truth as well or deeper truths, plural. So there could be multiple different truths here that you are being guided to explore and see beneath or see beyond is something that I'm also hearing as well. So this is a very powerful energy that's coming through, but essentially you're ready to trust your inner vision and you're ready to see something here and to see through something. You also have immense foresight as well. You may get like, um, like prophetic dreams or prophetic visions or just like a prophetic knowing, like you just know things or you can see things ahead of time. It's almost like being like 10 steps ahead in kind of like a, a game of chess or something like that. It's not that you are manipulative or strategic in a negative connotation. It's more like you just have access to seeing that far ahead. So you could already see how the game of chess is going to play out and who's going to win and what's going to happen. That's almost like an energy that's coming through here. And maybe this is what your soul is kind of guiding you towards as well. Being able to figure something out, being able to, you know, see through some kind of strategy. Ooh, see through a manipulation. Okay, so there could be something around you or potentially someone or a situation that's kind of like playing that game of chess, metaphorically speaking, but they're doing it in like a manipulative way or there's there's something about some kind of energy being manipulated here mm, and you're seeing through this or you're being guided to see beyond this or even see 20 steps ahead so that you can see what is going on here, okay? So remember, my readings are for confirmation, so this is just going to be confirming to you what you already feel, what you already know, so always take what resonates and lovingly leave the rest. So let's dive in and explore a bit deeper here today, group two. What we're doing today is I am going to be shuffling and pulling live on camera. I've selected a bunch of different decks that I'm just going to be guided to intuitively throughout your reading. Um, so I just want to start here with some energies here that are coming through. What are the energies here? For group two when it comes to this mystic eye energy the the energy to be ready to see what is it that group two are ready to see <clears throat> what are group two ready to see what is this energy here please what is the energy oh we have six of wands wow you're ready to see how you're going to be victorious in something here. You're going to be triumphant. You're kind of a big deal, so start acting like it is what this card talks about here. So I feel like you're ready to see also how much of a big deal you are, how capable you are, how deserving you are, how much you shine, and how you are almost like destined to win in a situation here. Interesting how I was being drawn to, you know, that analogy and metaphor and that vision I was being shown of playing a game of chess. And it's like you being ahead of the time here, ahead of the crowd with something here. There's an expansion that is coming through. Let's see, what else do we have about this for group two? We have the four of cups. So there's some sort of disappointment here. And I feel like you weren't seeing something in yourself because the Four of Cups can talk about missing, missing something, like not seeing something, not being aware of something. And I feel like it's not being aware of how much you shine or seeing how much of a star you are or how successful you can be. And I feel like this is what your soul is saying. You're ready to see this now. You're ready to see this. So there could have been some manipulations around you that were pulling you back from really seeing who you are. It's almost like there were people around you that were seeing you do what you do, seeing you glow, but 
Maybe they weren't giving you the accolades that you deserved or maybe you weren't getting the appreciation or the confirmation of, yeah, you're really good at this or yeah, you're doing amazing or yeah, this could be really successful. For whatever reason, this could have been a manipulation tactic or maybe this they were just so wrapped up in themselves that they just didn't have the, the time and attention to spare or something like that. But I feel now instead of asking or looking for external validation from others or society or the world or however it's coming through, it's like appreciating this and finding this within yourself first. And that's actually what is going to be this breakthrough moment for you here. I'm hearing there's a breakthrough here. And it's like when you're able to see this in yourself, how much you shine with a six of wands, how much of a big deal you are, right? That's when others are really going to start to see it in you and where it's going to be mirrored to you, okay? So essentially, there's an energy of mirroring coming through here where you were kind of down on yourself a little bit with the four of cups. So you weren't appreciating yourself as much as, you know, you, you could have been, right? Maybe you were kind of like uh, unmotivated, right? Or there's, there was an energy that was unmotivating you and you couldn't find some sort of motivation. But it's like when we can find that in ourselves, that's when we're truly going to shine because we're going to tap into that level of empowerment on a deeper level, that level of focus, right? Of progression, of really being confident in those decisions that you're making. It's like you don't need to ask ask for other people's kind of validation or recognition here, right? It's okay to ask for opinions from those who you trust in terms of, you know, what decisions should I make, you know, should I do this, should I do that? But it's you have to make the decisions yourself. And I feel like you've either been working through this or this is something that you're being guided to remember, to focus on here, right? You're kind of a big deal, so start acting like it, okay? Don't allow yourself to um, to hold yourself back in any way. There could also be maybe a picky energy here as well. Maybe you're being too picky with yourself or, you know, you're being too much of a perfectionist about something, right? And we're saying you can just start with what you have, right? It's like, for example, if I'm just going to use this analogy because it's like, it's what's coming through here. But if you were a reader, for example, it's like, and you only have like a couple of different card decks or, you know, two or three or four card decks and you're you're feeling like, well, I can't be doing YouTube readings because I, I don't really have many card decks. It's like, no, that's perfectly fine. Just use what you've got and then you'll start to build on that, right? Just start with what you have. It's okay if you've got one card deck, right? It's okay if you don't have any card decks, what cards are coming into your mind's eye as visualizations, right? Like, it's almost like you don't even need the cards, right? Okay, so take that how it resonates and fits your situation for you. You don't have to be a tarot reader. There doesn't have to be literal, a literal analogy here. Take it how it fits for you. But there's something that you feel that you need in order to do what you want to do. And in actual fact, there's a message here that it's already within you. You don't actually need it. Okay, so that's something that's really coming through here strongly, right? On the bottom of the deck, we've got the two of wands. Yes, your decisions decide your future here. Nothing else. Nothing is deciding your future here other than you. You are the mystic. You are that, almost like that prophecy. You're able to prophesy your own future, right? And it's almost like a reminder here of how powerful your vision is. What is it you're visualizing? Are you visualizing you on stage being successful? Are you visualizing you being affluent and abundant in your business with your bank balance rolling up? Are you visualizing yourself running through a field of flowers, feeling healthy, feeling vibrant, feeling like you don't have a care in the world, surrounded by animals, surrounded by family? What are you visualizing? Or are you visualizing yourself alone in a room or bored or unmotivated or not reaching your dreams or sick or tired how are you visualizing yourself because that's what you can create okay this is a power that's really strongly coming through here a reminder that you and your decisions decide your future nothing else 
There could be something here that maybe you feel was fated. And in actual fact, there's a reminder here that you have a choice. There's a choice here that's coming through for you, okay? And this is what you're ready to see. You're ready to see this choice that is coming through for you, okay? Very powerful energies coming through. What else wants to come through about this, this energy and this message here for group number two? What they're ready to see? What are group two ready to see? Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ibis and acceptance. Okay. So there could be something that you've had to accept potentially, right? Maybe you've had to accept a disappointment. Maybe you've had to accept a loss. But what is meant for you is always going to be for you, right? So really, it may have felt like a loss in the moment, but it wasn't really a loss. That's a message that's coming through here. It wasn't really a loss because you're always going to get to that destination. You're always going to be a winner if you visualize that win, okay? If you visualize you overcoming the challenges and the losses here. And if we can see what that loss can actually teach us, what can that actually show us, right? It's that acceptance of something here, okay? Maybe you've had to accept something and it's like, well, actually, do I really want to accept this, okay? So it's like, for example... Um, they're asking me to use this analogy. I was diagnosed with a very life-changing con health condition earlier on in my 20s and um, I chose not to accept it. I chose not to accept it and I defied all odds, all predictions that were placed upon me by medical professionals and my doctors and to this day I'm still defying odds because I chose not to accept it, right? And I know it's not as easy as that for everyone, I know it's not as easy for that, right? But the stepping stones are modalities that if we choose to not accept something or choose to accept our power and take our power back, then we can choose different things and make different choices and find what works for us in order to help us to move on from something or break free from something or install something or obtain something, manifest something, however it's coming through. It's like don't underestimate the power of your decisions. This is something that you're ready to see, how much of a powerful creator you are by what you visualise. So for me, for example, visualization was something that I worked with a lot in order for me to heal, right? In order for me to, to not fall into those predictions that were placed upon me. I use visualization. And while that was one of the many different things and lifestyle choices that I made and decisions that I took to shift my trajectory, to shift my destiny, I decided that that diagnosis was not my fate and I was not going to, you know, allow it to be so. And so I made the choices and decisions and mindsets and visualizations to try and change that, to adjust that, to shift that, right? So utilize this however it's resonating for you, okay? But it's not forgetting that you have the power within you here. You have the power. Anything else here for group two about this? Anything else here for group two? Thank you. Your heart space is very significant here. I feel like you've been working through your heart space massively, allowing yourself to be loved, allowing yourself to receive love, okay? Because like I said, I feel like you didn't receive something like that, that you deserve like love, appreciation, accolades, recognition, right? And when you're able to, to accept that and within yourself, that's when this is going to, the ball is going to start rolling here. And the six of wands, this victory success is going to magnify and manifest for you exponentially, right? So don't forget your visualizations here with some sort of victory, not focusing on the disappointments or the losses or what hasn't worked out. Of course, allow yourself to be sad, right? Allow yourself to have those days where, you know, I just want to, I just want to feel sad today. I just want to kind of feel sorry for myself today. Trust me, I've been there a million times around the block and back again, right? But then we choose to take back our power. 
okay? And that's exactly what you're doing, exactly what you're being guided to do here. We're not going to sit in that energy forever. We're not going to allow it to consume us forever. We're then going to visualize a different future for us. And that's something that's coming through here for you massively. We have the crab and trust coming through. We have the peahen and nurture. We have guardian angel, you are not alone, beautiful. And we have spring, see your seeds grow, yes. Exactly, this is so gorgeous. So interesting how we've got the pea hen coming through here because we did get the peacock coming through in another group today as well. So this is the feminine energy coming through for you here, right? So it's interesting because we pull through this message at the beginning of your reading saying that you are ready to trust in your inner vision and we've got trust coming through here as well. So you're ready to trust what you sense, trust what you know, especially with that crab energy. It's giving me that, you know, the water sign, cancer energy coming through, cancerian energy coming through, that, you know, that intuitive, empathic, but also a very protective energy coming through here, especially with this guardian angel. You do have a strong protective energy around you, a strong protector supporting you at this time. Maybe you've been seeing white feathers. Maybe you've been connecting more with your guardian angel. And I feel like your guardian angel is reaching out because they're wanting to show you something. And I feel like essentially also what you're ready to see is how protected you are and how you are able to shift what you may feel is destined for you or fated for you in your future, right? You can create a new vision for yourself where you can see your spring coming through, your seeds growing and you're being guided to nurture this, okay? So continue to nurture yourself, continue to nurture your seeds, right? Metaphorically speaking, watering those seeds, those plants and watching something grow here, trusting that everything is unfolding in perfect divine timing and formation, trusting that everything is coming through how it's supposed to come through, trusting in that vision, trusting in your foresight and your insight, even trusting in the disappointments because again, they have a message there. There's, there's something here to be seen, right? In that moment. And maybe even a disappointment, we can reflect on that and be like, well, actually, yeah, that probably is good that that didn't work out because if that would have worked out for me then I would have been going in that a different direction to where I'm going now and there's something that is is going to be shifting that for you here that's going to be quite magical I'm hearing okay so you're definitely not alone okay you've got a lot of support around you okay especially in the spirit realm and it's interesting how we've got a third eye at the top of this picture here as well so definitely keep working on your third eye at this time because I feel like there's an expansion that's coming through here. Maybe you've been actively working and nurturing that third eye. Now it's time for you to trust what you're seeing, trusting what you're knowing, your visions that you're receiving and pulling through. Anything else here about what group two are ready to see? Anything else? What are they ready to trust? We have, what do you need to release on the bottom of the deck? So there's something here that you're in the process of letting go of and you need to trust what you know and what you see when it comes to what you need to release. So you're going to know what is for you and what isn't for you. You're going to know what you need to let go of, whether it's a, a person, a place, a situation, a memory, a limiting belief, maybe something that someone has told you, right? And it's like, I don't choose to accept that reality. I don't choose to accept that projection. I choose to release it and create my own, right? What is it that you need to release? There's going to be various different things along your journey. So trust in where you're being guided to when it comes to what you're needing to release. Because that is going to make way for a new vision, a clearer vision. One where you're going to be victorious and successful and you're leaving behind a trajectory or a timeline where things feel stagnant there's a boring energy there's a humdrum energy here 
It's like I choose to break out of this humdrum and choose a different vision for myself. And that's what your soul is saying that you're ready to see. We have the end of a tough cycle approaches the full moon in Capricorn. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So Capricorn or Sagittarius placements may be significant. Cancer placements could be significant here for you. But you need to, to trust as well that a tough cycle here that you've been traversing and working through, for some of you this has been for a long time, maybe a long season of winter here I feel because with spring coming in before spring is winter so I feel like it could have been a long winter for you right metaphorically speaking maybe literally whenever you're tuning in maybe it has been winter for you right but whatever this energy is it's been a long time and you're closing this cycle out okay you're closing out a cycle of the humdrum a difficult cycle for you that has been tough that has been challenging especially with that Capricorn energy. It's not an easy energy ruled by Saturn. Can talk about limitations, restrictions, having to have patience because things take a long time to come through. And luck is on your side now. There's a shift in luck. There's a shift in destiny coming through here. Be mindful about what you have your vision focused on. Utilizing the bow and arrow here as a metaphor, an analogy, a visualization for what you're focusing your vision on, your eye on. Whatever you focus your eye on, your vision, luck can bring this through for you. But it's not just luck, it's an energy of focus vision can orchestrate this energy of feeling like a twist of luck. Because you're, you've got that much power, especially sitting right under the peahen, this divine feminine energy of nurturing, of creation. You're birthing something here you're creating something you're bringing something through whether that's a project whether that's a, some sort of change whether that's a shift in your destiny your reality right a vision that you have however it's coming through for you it's going to be different for each and every one of you right but whatever you're focusing on here you can create you can bring through and it's going to feel like maybe to you maybe to others like, wow, you got lucky, or wow, I got lucky. And it's like, no, this is just my visualization power. This is how powerful I am, okay? Don't forget, the Six of One card literally says you're kind of a big deal. So start acting like it, right? We're not talking about jumping into ego here, you know, being uh, the big guy around town, shouting everything out, saying, oh, look at me, how, how amazing am I? That's not what we're saying here. It's more of an appreciation for the self, a realization and having a deeper level of respect for yourself in terms of, I know what I'm worthy of, I know what I deserve and I'm not going to accept crumbs when I deserve the whole loaf of bread. That's a message that's coming through here, right? And so this is something that you're ready to see as well, okay? I just literally cut the deck, guys, to hold your vision. I just literally cut the deck to that my gosh, I love that. Hold your vision. This is exactly what we were just talking about. And this is what your soul is saying. Hold your vision because your vision is manifesting. Your seeds are growing. This card literally says, see your seeds grow. Visualize your seeds growing. Powerful, empowering message coming through here. I love this gorgeous anything else about these seeds this manifestation this visualization power this focus holding your vision anything else about this we have the earth school life lessons soul growth study higher learning yeah as we said there's lessons here that are weaving through the fabric of your reality at this time okay so you've been learning a lot of lessons through this which is where this four of cups is coming in the disappointments the tough cycles that you've been traversing right there's been lessons here now i know that's not an easy message to receive but this is what's coming through here in this situation it's like can we take these lessons and use them to nurture our seas, to water our manifestations, to expand our visualization, to not give in to any projected 
predictions upon us or what people are saying is possible for us or are we going to claim our own reality what it is that we're wanting to obtain right how are we going to utilize this lesson to push us forward right there could have also been lessons here with feeling alone not feeling like you fit in anywhere feeling abandoned even coming through and that's why your guardian angel is showing up here to remind you that you're not alone and also you don't have to be doing this work alone either the shadow work the going through this tough cycles you don't have to be doing it alone you've been getting a lot of support from your spirit team and I feel like many of you here are already aware of that because you've already been calling upon your spirit team to assist you with this right and if you haven't, definitely start to do that. If you're going through something tough, don't underestimate the power of calling upon the angels for assistance, your guardian angel, your guides, right? You've been going through a process of learning here and this is expanding your inner vision is a message that's coming through here, right? It's been expanding your inner vision. Can we get a final message to close out group two's reading? for what are they ready to see, okay, what are they ready to see, what is this trusting, what is this nurturing, what is this manifestation, what are they ready to see, any further guidance, we have Saint Germain, calm at releasing, move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy, wow, we've got this same formation coming through behind here, this is powerful, this same, I'm not entirely sure what this is, a sacred geometry potentially, but this is powerful, okay, we've got the same energy coming through, a massive clearing, your guardian angel is helping with this, you're clearing through a lot of karma, not surprising with that Capricorn energy because it's heavy work, right, it's dense work and you've really been doing this and I feel like you're seeing beyond anything that is karmically been restricting you, anything that is karmically been slowing things down, right? So there could have been a slow growth here coming through. Maybe you've been working towards something with the six of wands, whether it's health, more vitality, better health, more abundance, more success in your career or in a business or in relationships. However it's coming through, there could have been a slowness coming through, right? While you were releasing this karma, but spring is now coming into action. We've got the rabbit in the hair coming through, springing into action. So continue to move beyond drama, right? Anything that is just distracting you. And that's why we got that message of holding your vision, holding the vision. Don't allow drama, distractions, projections, limitations of others be projected upon you or to integrate within you okay, because you're expanding, there's something that you're here to nurture, that you're in the process of nurturing, so continue to trust, continue to trust in your vision, continue to create your own path, and that's exactly what we were saying, you know, not taking on the limitations of anything that has been imposed, like for me, for example, that message that I delivered about my health issue and there was projections from the doctors upon me that by a certain age it will be this, by a certain age it will be that and all this, I was like, no, I'm choosing my own path and I continue to break those boundaries, right? I continue to defy the odds. And so this is an energy that is for you as well. Make room for good energy, make room for good energy because that's exactly what you deserve. You deserve to shine. You deserve for your visions to come through to manifest. So don't underestimate your power here to make this true for you. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful as well. So not only are your visualizations powerful for this for you group two, but your thoughts, your beliefs, what you believe. Do you believe in miracles? That's a question that I want to ask. Do you believe in miracles? If so, then a miracle can happen for you. And if you don't, then you may not see that miracle, right? It's like you have to believe in it. So if you believe in miracles, drop it in the comment section. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I believed in a miracle and a miracle happened for me and it can happen for you too. And so this is a very empowering message coming through here. There's an awakening presence that is 
filling your aura at this time. So allow yourself to soak in it, to soak it all up, to nurture it, to pull it in. Trust and have faith and know that you are not alone. Continue to tune in to your inner guidance, your higher guidance, and know that you are supported as you move forward into creating your visualizations, to manifesting your visualizations, what you focus your intentions on, right? What you nurture, what you put your time and energy into, what you're clearing out of the way. The end of a tough cycle is approaching for you here. It's now time for you to kind of live a more empowered life where not only are you recognized by others but you also recognize yourself for who you truly are and don't forget that's the key here for you to be seen you have to see yourself first but really see yourself group two powerful messages coming through here i truly truly hope that you found helpful guidance support confirmations empowerments and any activations you were needing here today so let's see what we should do group two i feel like we should drop a third eye emoji a crab emoji a bow and arrow emoji or a is there a white feather or a white heart emoji in the comment section if this has been your reading if you have resonated with this reading or if you would like to claim any of this beautiful, trusting, nurturing look is on your side, you are not alone. Seeing your seeds, your visions growing, being appreciated and recognized and glowing even brighter energy. And please feel welcome to share in the comments section how this reading has resonated for you. I always love to catch up with you and see what you have to share about your soul path and life journey thus far. Thank you so much for all of your positivity, your support and your love in the comment section, not only with myself but with each other as well. It's amazing to see you all interacting and supporting and encouraging one another. So thank you so much for your positivity. If you would like to dive into a personally calibrated reading with myself, you can find my website in the description box where you'll be able to see all of the services that I currently offer, as well as my limited edition monthly special readings and book with me directly there. But please note that if my readings say sold out, that just means that I am currently at full capacity. So then please navigate to the top of my website where you'll see a little banner at the header of my page and I'll pop in there a little update of when I next expect to open new readings and new availability. Thank you so much for your patience and understanding. And if you've enjoyed this reading today, don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell icon because that lets you know when I rock up and drop new readings and messages for you. And thank you so much for all of your energy exchanges via your likes, your comments, your subscribes and your super thanks donations. Thank you so, so much for your kindness, your generosity and support. You are so appreciated and valued. And if you would like to dive into any further guidance for you, don't forget to check out my channel. I have created a bunch of different playlists for pick a cards, soul alignment sessions and collective readings and they are all timeless. So whenever you are feeling guided to a specific reading, that is for a purpose. There could be some more messages and support and guidance there for you. And thank you so much for tuning in today as always my loves. We hope to see you in our next reading. Take care of your lovely selves. Sending you lots of love. Bye. Hi group three, welcome to your reading. If you selected the eclipse card or this beautiful opalite crystal, this is your reading today for what does your soul say that you are ready for? So what are you ready for group three? We're going to be diving deep to bring you through the confirmations, clarity, insights, empowerment and activations for you today. And don't forget to take what resonates for you for your personal situation and lovingly leave the rest, okay? So you have selected the eclipse card here. I'm just going to show you a little bit closer. This talks about creativity, writing and expression coming through here. So very powerful energies coming through 
for you. I do feel like you're ready here for some sort of life shifting revelation. That's what I'm really feeling with this eclipse energy, okay? You're ready for, you're ready to write something new. You're ready to write a new story. You're potentially ready to create something here. So there's a very creation energy coming through. I do feel like this could be coming through from a catalyzing awakening. I'm feeling an energy of awakening coming through here as well. Writing some sort of new chapter, expressing a deeper level of authenticity is also coming through here as well. There's something that you're wanting to express, group three, but this could come in the form of something that could be quite catalyzing. Whether this is catalyzing for yourself or catalyzing for those around you, I feel like whatever it is you're bringing through has a potential to impact the world or the energies around you quite dramatically here with that eclipse energy to shift something quite dramatically, exponentially, I'm hearing. Okay, I do get this energy of kind of like um, the dream world as well. That's very interesting. The astral could be very significant for you here. I feel like you actually are a creator in the astral and you're able to bring down your creations from the astral into the physical realm. It's like you're some kind of like dimensional traveler. That's an energy that I'm really picking up here as well. You're able to take energies from other dimensions and alchemize them and almost kind of like stitch them and weave them together into some sort of formation of creation here. Wow, this is really, really cool energy coming through. I'm loving this. So it's important for you to keep expressing yourself. That's an energy that's coming through here as well. Even if it triggers others around you, even if it triggers yourself, you could even be like a, a, your own catalyst, right? You could even, you know, create some sort of trigger yourself to trigger you into something, but it's coming through in a catalyst to awaken something here. Massive awakening energy. Okay, group three. So I am going to be pulling and shuffling cards live on camera for you today. I have selected a bunch of different card decks that I'm going to be intuitively pulling from throughout your reading. So I just want to pull through some energies here. For group three, what are they ready to catalyze or awaken? What are they ready for here? What's group three ready for, please? We have the Five of Pentacles coming through. We have the Six of Swords, yeah. You're ready to move on from an energy of, of lack, I feel, an energy where, an energy of disappointment, an energy of like feeling like um, something hasn't worked out or something is hopeless or something is like giving up energy. But I feel like you're choosing not to give up on something here and you're writing a new chapter. It's interesting how we did bring that energy through and this card literally says it's time to write a new chapter and I was picking up that energy um, as I was connecting with your, your group here, right? The energies that are coming through all aboard. It's time to write a new chapter. It's trying to, it's time to get on that boat and to sail away into the distance, into the sunset, into the horizon, right? You've packed your bags, metaphorically speaking, and you're deciding to move away from something that has left you feeling like bummed out, out in the cold, disconnected, alone. There could be some kind of abandonment wound that's been coming through here as well. Maybe some kind of rejection, feeling like you were rejected from something here. But we do have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Light a fire underneath your cauldron and go, go, go. Okay, so your soul says you're ready to move forward. Your soul says you're ready to move on. Your soul says you're ready to go, go, go all aboard. It's time to write a new chapter. We're writing a new chapter. We're not going back to the past. There could be like something that hasn't worked in your favor or something that has not been favorable for you, right? Maybe, you know, you felt like you were in lack. Maybe this could be abundance or finances or even health, right? However, it's come through and you're choosing to write a new chapter. Some of you could have come from group two or group two 
could be a helpful message for you, especially if it's to do with health or something like that, because that was a, a really strong, powerful message that came through for group two. There could be some helpful energies there for you, only if that resonates though, right? Only if that resonates. So essentially here, you're moving on, you're choosing to light a fire underneath and inside of you to move on, right? To release any burdens as well. I see you releasing some kind of burden. I feel like something has been weighing you down here as well and you're choosing not to carry that with you. This could be even some sort of family wounding here or some sort of family story. Maybe there's been a repeating pattern or cycle throughout the family, right? Um, something like that and you're, you're, you're choosing now to to walk away from this, right? To write a new chapter, to decide that that doesn't have to be for you, right? That doesn't have to be for you. That doesn't have to be your reality. Okay. What else do we have here about this new chapter? Can we get any more information about this new chapter for group three? What is this new chapter that they're ready to write and create? bottom of the deck we have B and power yeah you're choosing to um to, to essentially take back your power right to create something different right you've been working hard towards something here right with that B energy and you could even be choosing to um, align with a different like community or people or soul family right I just feel that energy coming through maybe some of you have been feeling disconnected from your family like you don't fit in or you're not accepted um, and you're choosing to go and find your soul family your um, your family that may not have grown up with you right um i feel like you're choosing to source that elsewhere and that's exactly what you're going to do anything else here about what group three is writing in this new chapter please what is group three writing in this new chapter any guidance and empowerment for this any guidance and activations for this new chapter for group three please thank you Wow, bottom of the deck, we have milk and honey. Look at this beautiful rainbow frequency energy coming through here. And it's interesting how we just saw the bee at the bottom of the card. Bees create honey, okay? So you're creating your honey here, your sweetness, okay? You're choosing a reality where you can bask in that sweetness and that's exactly what you're rewriting here, where you're able to bask in that milk and honey energy, the energy of sustenance, of nurturing, of creation, of sweetness, of, of hope, right? That's an energy that I'm really feeling. What else about this new chapter? We have the parrotfish and authenticity, yes. We have the lion and confidence. Oh my gosh, I love this. You could definitely be connected to group two, potentially. We have the orphaned, yes, that's what I was feeling, feeling left out or abandoned. And we have imagine, oh my gosh, this is powerful, yeah, okay. So first and foremost, this new chapter that you are writing, right? This eclipse energy, this catalyst, it's ultimately going to work out better than you imagine group three. I feel like this is going to be beyond your wildest imaginations. You may have some like visualizations, some kind of intentions that you're setting here. You might have a rough idea of where you want to go, you know, who you want to be, who you want to meet, um, who you want to be around, the energies that you want to be aligning with but it's not gonna turn out in the way that you expect. It's not gonna unfold in the way that you expect. It's gonna be beyond your wildest imaginations. And it's because point blank period, quite frankly, you deserve this group three. There's something that you deserve from a difficult situation, a very difficult, dark, potentially situation that you have experienced. So this five of pentacles energy and the orphaned energy is the same here. Okay. It's the same thing, but you're, you're changing this with the number five, right? 
you're changing this, you're finding a new place of safety for you. Because I feel like what once was potentially safe for you or felt safe for you is shifting, right? Or maybe you've always been trying to find that place of safety for you that you felt really truly safe, whether it was a literal place, a home, an area, right? A city, a country, whether it was a relationship, right? however it's coming through for you in terms of your safety, I feel like you're you're now traveling out of, of some area here to discover where the safety truly lies for you, right? And this is a journey that you are embarking on and going on here, a new chapter that you are writing. And you're going to be aligning with new people, places, situations, and timelines that are more authentic for you that allow you to shine your true authentic colours because I feel like you're someone who is very, very colourful. Like you've got a beautiful aura, a beautiful energy about you. You might like to work with colours. Maybe you dress colourfully. Maybe you use colourful makeup or accessories. I'm being shown nail polish. Or maybe you just like to kind of tune into the frequencies of colours and utilise them as form of magic I'm hearing or alchemization. Colour is very significant for you here. But I feel like throughout your journey, you've definitely been through elongated periods, I'm hearing, of lack of colour, okay? So there could have been times in your life where things were very desaturated, there wasn't much colour, and it's like you really had to paint that colour back onto your canvas, into your reality. And I feel like that's where you're journeying to this new chapter. You're accessing a deeper level of vibrancy, a deeper level of colour in whatever way that is unfolding for you. And it's important for you to really keep working on your confidence, okay? Your confidence is so significant here. Do you even recognise your power? Do you realise how powerful you are? How much you shine? Working with the lion, I feel, would be very, very helpful for you. Maybe some of you have strong Leo placement in your chart. You don't have to, but I just feel like you're now choosing to go after your confidence because I feel like your confidence was was almost like non-existent or it had been really packed away and stuffed really deep down here, but you're activating, you're pulling it back up. And this confidence is going to be more apparent and more solidified the more that you tune into your authenticity. You tune out the distractions. It doesn't matter what others think of me. It doesn't matter how others perceive me. I'm just going to choose to do me anyway. I'm going to choose to shine and be as colourful as I want to be, right? To wear the colours that I want to wear, whether that is literally or whether that is just energetically, right? Allow yourself to access all of those different colours and frequencies of the rainbow here. That's something that I'm massively feeling. Elephants could also be very significant for you. Maybe some of you work with Lord Ganesh. I feel his energy coming through very strongly here. And I really feel like this new chapter here that you're writing as well is one that's going to bring you a higher level of abundance. I really feel that. And Lord Ganesh can also assist with abundance as well. Um, so that's very, very powerful message that's coming through here as well. Maybe some of you are artists, maybe some of you are writers or poets or you express yourself creatively through whatever it is that you do and I feel like you can actually create um, a wealth, a plethora, a pool of abundance through that as well and so there could have been some judgments that you have had to overcome whether that's from yourself or other people or society at large. And you're just choosing to do it anyway. And that's the, the empowerment, encouragement and message coming through. Choose to do it anyway. No matter what others might say, no matter what others might think, no matter if others reject you, it doesn't matter. You're going to find your tribe. You're going to find your people. Okay. You're going to find your place, your space, your safe haven. Okay. You're going to find it. So any guidance here for this, how they can find this space, how they can align? Any more guidance for this, please? We do have, don't let pride get in your way. We've got another lion energy, full moon in Leo, okay? So don't let your pride hold you back, okay? 
Um, there could be some pride here. Maybe you're having to reach out to someone or to something. Maybe you're having to ask for help in some way. It's okay to ask for help, right? It's okay to reach out. It's okay to ask for help, okay? I'm getting swallowing your pride, rising above the pride, okay? Don't allow the pride to hold you back or restrict you. It's okay to ask for help, right? You don't need to feel proud of that. Underneath that, we have a new start is coming. This is this new chapter that you are writing here, okay? The full moon and the new moon could be very significant here. Maybe you work with the moon cycles, Okay, let's see what we have. We have, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. A win-win outcome is forecast here, full moon in Libra. Wow. So we've got three full moons that we've seen here, right? So the full moons talk about um, a culmination, talks about coming full circle, full cycle, closing things out, releasing things. It can also talk about exposure, about revelations as well. And that's what we pull through at the beginning. You're ready for a life shifting revelation. So something is becoming more clearer to you as well in a way that you're going to be able to balance something out here. You do have a wind that is on the horizon and as we said, whatever this is you're moving towards is going to turn out beyond your wildest imagination, right? So don't forget the power of your visualizations. Don't forget the power of your imagination, right? We need to move out of this orphaned energy, which is completely normal, by the way, when we've been rejected, when we've been abandoned, we've been let go of, we've been left out, however it's come through, right? It can feel normal to be in that energy, right? But you're moving on from this, you're choosing to change this with the number five that's coming through on this card. And this is bringing you a recalibration, a rebalance of your energy and what you is that you're attracting, your attraction point is shifting, recalibrating and rebalancing here. So continue to release negativity of the past. You're not going in that direction anymore continue to let it go. What's done is done. What's happened has happened. It doesn't have to be your future. You're deciding to write a new chapter and to move on from any loss, abandonment, wounding, rejections, sadness, pain, discomfort, however it's come through for you, right? You're choosing to move on from this and that's not to say that you can't feel those emotions. Absolutely, we do encourage you feeling those emotions with that Scorpio energy. But don't forget you are the alchemist. You alchemize these kind of quote unquote, you know, negative emotions, lower emotions, which by the way are completely valid. We don't mean negative in a way that, oh my gosh, it's negative. We shouldn't feel it. We shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't shine light on it. We, we should just pretend it's not there. Absolutely not, right? This is just, we say negative in a way to describe that it, it's more uncomfortable emotions, right? Most of us don't like to feel those emotions, okay? But it's, it's actually, essential that we do it's imperative that we do allow ourselves to feel those emotions of whatever it is we're experiencing so that we can let it go so that we can release it okay so there could be some mind shifting um visualizations recalibrations that you've been doing right maybe you've been expecting the worst for example which by the way again is completely normal along our human journey we can kind of expect the worst in situations but you're being guided not to do that okay Okay, because there's a balance of recalibration that's coming through and you're able to manifest some kind of win here and align with some kind of win, right? Outcome, as long as you tune into your confidence to know that it's possible for you, right? That's very, very important, okay? There could be a negative energy in your vicinity. Maybe it's someone else around you who's a bit of a, a, bit of a negative Nancy. No offense if your name is Nancy, by the way. That's just something that came through here. Maybe a little bit of a neg ferret, right. kind of in your ear. That's what I'm being shown, like someone just kind of in your ear, just like speaking negativity. Oh, this won't work. That won't work. What about this? That's impossible. You couldn't do that. Da, da, da. This could even be coming through from childhood, 
maybe you heard this in childhood you you don't even consciously remember this right maybe someone was in your ear maybe giving you talks that are not empowering for you making you doubt yourself making you shrink up not allowing yourself to to bring through those beautiful vibrant colors that is your energy that is your aura that is your soul and this had a knock-on effect on your confidence which could have then affected various different pathways along your journey but you're choosing to take from those situations what you can take from them in order to empower yourself moving forward you're choosing to take back your confidence now and rewrite the story of lack rewrite the story where nothing seems to work out for you right and this is very, very important for you. This is very, very powerful. And it's choosing to tap into that lion energy, that Leo energy of confidence and empowerment, but then not taking it to extremes where you feel too proud to reach out for help, right? You feel too proud to admit when maybe um, you need to apologize for something, take accountability for something as well, right? Because we all have a part to play in some of the circumstances in our lives whether we like to admit it or not and I know that can be a triggering message right and I'm not saying everything is a part of us right but it's like you know sometimes we have to take accountability for the choices we've made the decisions that we've made right that may have not led to a favorable outcome for us but when we can recognize that and choose to take accountability and say okay I didn't make the best choice there I didn't make the right decision but instead of beating myself up about it instead of like berating myself and holding it against me forever I'm going to take what I can from this situation. What can I learn from this? Okay, well, maybe I shouldn't make a decision when I feel angry again. Maybe I should give it a bit more time to recalibrate. Maybe I should sleep on it. Maybe I should make a decision from what feels best for me, not from a place of what I think I should do or what could make someone else happy. Maybe I should just choose me. However, it's coming through that high level of accountability and recognition is going to be incredibly activating and empowering and shifting for you here. Okay. Anything else about this win win outcome that is forecast here? Any further information about this new chapter that could be helpful for group three to know and to bring through today, please? We have wisdom, learning, joy, art, and music. Yeah, kind of just expanding on that message that was just coming through, right? What can we take from this situation? Swans could be significant here as well. I feel like you're really being guided to tune in more with your higher self as well. Like continue to tune in with your higher self. Continue to focus on joy, right? What what fills you up with joy? What do you enjoy doing, right? Because there's an energy here of like feeling disconnected from happiness or joy or fulfillment in some way, whether that's listening to music, whether that's creating art, whether that's watching your favorite show or going out in nature, connecting with the animal kingdom, playing with, you know, your children, right, or your niece or nephew or your favorite sport whatever it is that brings you joy and happiness and fulfillment that's going to be very empowering for you at this time your inner child is also needing to feel more of this as well wanting to experience more joy i just heard enlightenment as well so there's an enlightenment that is coming through here for you as well but music and art and creativity is going to be very catalyzing for you very awakening for you and very shifting for you at this time there's lots of lessons that you have been learning learning as well and by integrating those lessons it's going to lead to a higher level of um, processing and awakening here as well I'm hearing okay yeah I just cut the deck here to grateful optimism joyous view of the future so you have to have a joyous view of the future you have to imagine where you wish to be okay that's very significant for you here right you're reclaiming your power as well and I just cut the deck to sacred purpose eternal flame and ancestral legacy yeah this is really powerful you're activating um a deeper level of a sacred purpose here and i feel like this is a chapter that you're writing it's like on a soul level you've been writing like a new chapter of your soul purpose here that is something that is forming a soul purpose where you align more with confidence with authenticity where you feel more included you've got soul family you're feeling joyful you're 
you're feeling creative, right? Where you feel like things are more balanced. This is a very shamanic journey here that you are embarking on right now or that you are about to embark on. So some of you could work with shamanism, but I feel like this energy that is coming through massively here, you're essentially being attuned. You're being attuned here for the next leg of your journey, for the next chapter in your soul purpose. And this is a vision quest for you as well. This is a vision quest from your, your soul, your higher self. This is essentially this new chapter that is beginning for you here. So you're ready to start this vision quest, group three. That's what you're ready for, okay? You're ready for a new vision quest. You're ready for a new soul purpose to awaken, to activate here. You're ready to write a new chapter and expressing a deeper authenticity, okay so that's very powerful energies coming through here so can we please pull through just a final message here for group three about this new chapter about this new soul purpose right this divine purpose what is this all about what is this soul purpose is there any information we can bring through about this in this chapter that is writing Ooh, we have Commander Ashtar, call to action, take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. Wow. Okay, so you have very cosmic support in this soul purpose that is activating for you here, this new soul chapter. Wow, incredible. This is a chapter, a soul purpose where you are some kind of leader. That's not surprising with the two lion energies that we've seen as well and the authenticity. You're meant to be a winner. You're meant to be a leader and you're being called to take action here. This is incredible. Archangel Michael is also coming through here as well. Archangel Michael, yes, yeah, so some of you could be working with Archangel Michael, cutting cords to the past, old versions of self, you're being called up to lead by example as well, to walk your talk. That's very significant. So whatever it is that you're speaking about, you have to also walk it. And this is kind of an example here of like a healer, right? We have to have experienced things in order to be helping and assisting others to do this, right? We have to have gone through our own dark night of the souls multiple times and then gone back around the roundabout and done it again, right? In order to be able to give this advice and this wisdom. And this is exactly the same message that's coming through for you. You have to have walked those journeys, walked those paths of the things that you are talking about, that you are communicating, right? It's almost like in order, for example, to help someone to come out of abandonment wounds, right? Of, of rejection, where they felt left out or orphaned in some way in their life. It's, we have to experience this ourselves, where we've been abandoned, where we've been rejected, where we felt like we don't fit in. And that's truly how we can lead, how we can be that way shower, because we've been through it. It's like the wounded healer energy coming through here. And so your sole purpose here is where you're going to be able to help and assist others in some way through what you have been through yourself is essentially the message that's coming through here as well. You also have um, a strong like ancestor connection as well, some of you here. So for those of you who this resonates for, who have been working with their ancestors, they're also helping you to heal some kind of family wound here or pattern. And this is in the process of being healed. And this could well be what has stepped you into your power here, right? And there could have been some pride getting in the way of that, right? Because when we mix family into the equation, it can be very difficult to admit potentially toxic family dynamics or cycles or something like that. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You're facing it head on. You're taking accountability if you need to, right? And you're having the confidence to shift it, okay? So this new soul purpose, this new chapter, what you're ready here for is to call to action, is to awaken a power within you, to have a higher level of confidence, to take charge, to be a leader in whatever it is that you're doing. And you're going to inspire many. And this is going to potentially lead you to a higher level of abundance as well. I really feel that strongly. And don't forget, 
this is going to work out beyond your wildest imaginations here. Keep working on balancing things as well, recalibrating, releasing what is not serving you anymore, stepping further into your authenticity and your confidence, allowing yourself to express your creativity. And however that's coming through for you, truly we're all creative, we all are a creator. And so you just need to find what is your modality of creation and focus on that, attune that, alchemize it, integrate it, activate it, right? Because you're being called to action here. Strong galactic connection as well, the galactic grid I'm hearing, very synced up to that here to create some sort of shift in not only your life, but in other lives as well. So powerful energies coming through here today, group three. I truly hope that you found helpful guidance, confirmations, empowerments and activations here that you were needing. So let's see what we should do today. I feel like drop a lion emoji, drop a scorpion emoji, drop your favorite music instrument or drop a purple heart in the comment section if this has been your reading. If you have resonated with this reading or if you would like to claim any of this powerful authenticity, confidence, imagination, deeper wisdom, releasing negativity and a win-win outcome is forecast taking charge energy and please feel welcome to drop in the comment section how this reading has resonated for you today i always love to connect with you catch up with you and see what you have to say about your soul path and life journey thank you so much for all of your positivity your love your support and your encouragement in the comments not only with myself and the channel but also with each other as well it's amazing to see you all interacting and supporting and helping and assisting one another. Thank you so much for all of your love and positivity. And if you would like to dive into a personally calibrated reading with myself, you can find my website in the description box where you'll be able to see all of the services that I currently offer, as well as my limited edition monthly special readings and book with me directly there. But please note that if my readings say sold out, that currently means that I'm currently at full capacity. So then please navigate to the top of my website where you'll see a little banner at the header of my page and I'll pop in there a little update of when I next expect to open new readings and new availability. Thank you so much for your patience and understanding. And thank you so much for all of your energy exchanges via your likes, your comments, your subscribes, your super thanks donations. Thank you so much for your generosity. Your kindness is so, so valued and appreciated. So thank you so much. And if you would like to dive into some more support and guidance, please feel welcome to check out my channel. I have created various different playlists with pick a card readings, collective readings and soul alignment sessions. They are all timeless. And so please feel welcome to have a browse on my channel channel and see what stands out to you just to pull through some extra guidance along your journey and thank you so much for being here today my loves it's been wonderful to connect with you and I'm wishing you all the best sending you lots of love take care bye